for shooting a cactus in the state of Arizona. down got the fuel strapped down got the tables the generator strapped the, the pack outs are strapped the big toolbox is strapped right in the center perfect weight distribution i mean it's freaking great i think awesome we just rolled into arizona from the beautiful state of california to the beautiful state of arizona nate and me are on our way to no coast shooting a cactus in the state of Arizona. It's not high enough. It's $10,000 to shoot. Yeah, it's even if you run into them or do anything. Oh yeah, that's, oh yeah, yeah, exactly. If you run into them with a car, mm -hmm. uh, you that's get a, a, ten, a 10 grand fine, which I 100% I agree. Yeah, they're 150 years old. Yeah, they're awesome. Actually, no idea what happened there. Uh, we're driving up this mountain pass, and the hatch just came down on the trailer. It locks in place fine. We think the internal hooks on the latching mechanism were a little worn out, so we're going to be replacing those when we get back. For now, we strapped it down, and it held up great. However, it is obviously super scary that the thing opens in the middle of the road. But I never got it right Baby, cut yourself Baby, cut yourself loose I was mesmerized by your eyes Keep me up every night Keep me up every night I was mesmerized by your eyes So awesome, like there's no nobody has any idea how big all this stuff is where we're at right <laughs> so now. Big. I think we want to pull it up and see if we can almost like pull it up there, Nate. Like right there. Right in the front? Yeah, yeah just like basically with our nose facing the, this white easy up. Alright, back her up. Yeah, yeah, but no no put put your wheels the way you have them right now. So wheels to the passenger. Keep going. A little bit passenger, slightly. Nokos, I'm loving it. This is amazing. Really awesome over here. Check that stuff out, guys. This is great. I didn't film too much during No Coast because there were a bunch of my friends there that I hadn't seen in a long time. So I didn't want to walk around with a camera all of the time. And I also didn't unpack the GoPros yet, but it was my first No Coast and I loved it so much. This is so awesome. Uh, no Coast is actually over. So we're just chilling, um, getting some food made. Uh, Rich came in with the big RV and uh, we have the 2022 car with us now and the 2023 car so really cool really happy with how the thing runs and um, we have another two days of practice over here just right after no coast so i'm uh, super excited and of course i'm going to show you guys everything so 
So introduce yourself real quick. What's your okay, name? Okay, so my name's Corey Riley, and uh, I've got my rear Fox body. That's a Gen 3 Coyote swap. Awesome. With the engine, the interior. And Even the interior, guys. Yeah. This is wild. Well, you guys have seen me drive the blue one, and it's just... Wow, look at that. Wow, this is so sick. It's so cool being out here and sleeping in the trailer. Um, it's just like reminds you of all these like uh, school trips or something. It's just super cozy. I uh, really enjoy this whole lifestyle. And uh, yeah, it's nice to be able to combine it with uh, the stuff back home. And my guys are doing such a good job back home, minding the shop, taking care of everything. So super cool. And uh, tomorrow we're gonna be doing a bunch of testing, so I'm uh, really excited for that. So let's see how this thing will drive. The 2023, the new car. Um, not super happy with the clutch master cylinder, but we'll see how she'll drive and um, yeah, it's like the first shakedown of this car, so it's always exciting, but uh, really glad we're over here. It's, we're the only people out here, so we're gonna have a good time. It's going so far so good. I like how the 2022 car uh, drives now and power band's completely different than it was before. Um, seating position is a ton better. It just feels like a good, nice, accessible car, easy to drive. We're running a really short gear ratio over here, as you guys can maybe tell from the driving videos, but like that's because on no coast, like there's a lot of people and like kids walking around, so you don't want a car that does like 30 mile an hour in the pedal. So short gear in there in the quick change so uh, we had the run in oil in the motor uh, which I think is really important because it helps uh, seal the rings there's a lot of guys that have a lot of like crankcase pressure problems even with NA motors and um, often that's just a ring seam problem so it gets properly honed it gets the rings and everything are correct and just put like mint uh, they put like synthetic oil in it from the beginning which lubricates so well that the rings don't really wear in on the board. You only get one chance for that, and then um, you just have excessive crankcase and blow by pressure. So uh, we ran it on mineral oil first um, on the dyno and a bunch of laps over here. Draining this guy, draining the oil cooler as well, obviously.
got the 22 car singing in the back like it drives so well i really like how it drives it's very accessible it's almost like a road car to drive more direct with like the wise fab and like the way we set the suspension it's just a super nice car so i'm super happy with that with some kind of contraption. Hold light so we can see we're cooking or that burning. Appears to be a light. Okay. So what, are we gonna go to a pawn shop or something? Buy some yeah. guns. Yeah, I saw there's a bunch of pawn shops close by. We could check them out. I well, love pawn shops. still open? It's Memorial Day. What are you looking big, for? Big pawn shop I'm not <laughs> looking for anything. A big pawn shop guy? No, I mean, uh, we don't have them back home, right? It doesn't really? exist. So it's like, kind of interesting to... No pawn shop. Like Super happy you and Richard and me um, got both these cars running. It's awesome to drive both of the cars at the same time on the track. Um, that car is such an animal. That motor over delivered. And that car, I'm just glad the car that our team has so much history with because that's Richard's car. His actual drift car where he did all his things with when the Sonoma shootout with the first round of FD. And it was like kind of like a road going car before. So it's so much history for us with that car. And we're just hoping to start writing history with that car. So super cool. Awesome weekend for us. And uh, thank you guys for coming along. Um, it was our own little burning man here in the desert. Uh, we could have gone anywhere there on the tarmac. But we were like, let's not get all our stuff um, repositioned and whatever. But a big thanks to the people uh, over here uh, in New Mexico from this track. It's so awesome. And Dan and Mikey and all those guys. Thank you guys for letting us come out here to play again. Uh, you saved us for FD. And now uh, yeah, it's important uh, to get all both of these cars running and tested and completely shaked down so we can uh, go back to base in California and uh, look at everything and check everything and check the data and whatever and uh, have some fun. So typically these videos don't get a lot of views compared to other ones on my channel. So thank you guys so much. I know you guys are here mostly for the tech info, but a lot of the tech info is also in the lifestyle videos.